Ah, uh, yeah. Welcome to another episode of Dark Skies Podcast, coming to you live from Los Angeles, California. Man, live from craziness in the skies. Yes, yes, yes. We're here to talk about, you know, we need to start looking up, folks. What's moving above our heads? <laughs> oh, man. And this subject has been getting me in all kinds of trouble, as, as if I haven't got banned enough. Now we're losing people. There's no iHeart connection anymore. I guess iHeart is not down with the truth. But it doesn't matter. We push forward without iHeart Radio. It's okay. I'm still telling people the truth. So we need to look up, folks. <laughs> Give you a chance to make yourselves comfortable. We're going to do the same. You just found dark skies, news, and information. today on this beautiful day on the west coast Los Angeles, California say hello to all my friends on the east coast New York the tri-state area Pittsburgh, Philadelphia Virginia, Florida all the way up to Georgia, Canada (laughs) how y'all doing today? we're having a good day we Looking up, the skies are beautiful, and the Sky Watch team, as usual, is working hard. We also got a lot of news coming in for the week. We got a big week. So I hope you have a happy Easter and prayers to the and thoughts to the people of Sri Lanka and the bombings that they're going through right now. It's a crazy world that we live in, and we spend a lot of time you know, focusing in on the craziness. And I often tell people that, you know, we can learn a lot by just opening our eyes and looking around. Well, you know, it's also seems to be evident that you can learn a lot by looking up more. I mean, because people don't look up enough, it's forced dark skies news and information to create the Skywatch team where we spend time, you know, studying Planet X and keeping our eyes out, you know, for oddities in our atmosphere or things just happening over our heads, up in our skies, as in Skywatch. Well, we spend a lot of time trying to understand what's going on and we get crazy pictures like, you know, these fireballs, right? You know, we got the meteor shower, right, that's coming up. We got, you know, SpaceX. Um, yeah, the dragon exploded. So it's it's a lot going on, but we try to keep you informed when it comes to, you know, sky watching, sky news, and information. And this has really been, you know, eating my lunch. Ever since I been trying to get information out about what appears to be large objects uh, moving across the sky, you know, on a daily basis, you know, through our cloud system. I mean, is it even our cloud system? I mean, it's been a lot going on, and we've been trying to point it out, especially when it comes to information, um, what people are saying, and we're talking about people on YouTube, Because YouTube is still a place you can still get some things out 
I mean, you get banned, but, you know, they still allow you to exist. <laughs> then you got some places, you know, where you're probably not going to be allowed to, you know, speak the truth. And you know that we got, um, you know, connections, right, all over Spotify, CastBox. You know, we got platforms where, you know, we had this podcast. So we wanted to reach as many people as possible. And, you know, when we start talking about things, now everybody know that we don't cover like mainstream crap. You know, we cover strange and, you know, uncovered stuff. You know, dark skies. We cover, you know, what people consider senseless or what people don't consider at all. You know, the Mandela effect. You know, nobody covers that in the news. Right? You know, ancient aliens and giants. Nobody covered that. Right? You know, large objects moving through our sky and sky watch. You know, nobody's covering that. And all these subjects, you know, individually, gets us banned in many different platforms and areas. But none more faster than this. I mean, this subject of large objects moving across the sky. Nothing has got me more, you know, hot water, right? Got me banned in more areas. I mean, I don't even get iHeart no more. iHeart is not supporting us. Oh. Why? Because they don't want to be connected to the truth. They much rather, you know, we do a Ron Burgundy type podcast, right? You know, a, a podcast about nothing. You know, they want us to it'd be like Ron Burgundy. You know, be goofy and make a motherfucker laugh instead of telling you the truth. So, yeah, we been dropped. Didn't even tell us. Didn't tell us why. Just disappeared. It was almost like the Mandela effect removed iHeart from our platform list. I mean, maybe I had the Mandela effect. I just misremembered having, you know, iHeart as a part of our team. And us as a part of their team. But we press forward. Existed before iHeart. Exists long after. Why? Because you ride the backs of hardworking podcasters. You live off our ideas. You live off our talent. And you pay nothing. And you charge, you know, for our advertising, you know, advertising on our stations. And that's fine. You don't even tell us what you're advertising. You know, we don't have no say. But, you know, I'm not going to spend, you know, time harping on iHeart and their inadequacies. I'm just pointing out the obvious. That when you start to speak the truth... You know, the people who are supposed to support you or are supposed to have your back or supposed to help you, you know, get your message out are the same ones that are, you know, relegating where your information is going or blocking or determining, you know, who sees or who hears what you got to say, you know. Listen to the Ron Burgundy. No, you should be listening to Dark Skies News and Information. You know, is Ron Burgundy telling you something so important? Yeah, Ron Burgundy going to save the world. He going to tell us about the Mandela Effect, right? He going to educate the world on Planet X, large objects in the sky. Yeah, you know about the crew dragon. You know, because Ron Burgundy know everything about space, right? You know, y'all hit y'all wagon, you know, to idiotic rhetoric. And then when it comes to, like, real topics and real things that people can actually, you know, 
gravitate towards it. Maybe we can learn something about ourselves. You know, like why we got typhus at City Hall here in Los Angeles. Is that not a story? But, you know, I digress. All I want to say is that I believe in all of this hidden chicane, all of this madness, all of this falsification, other facts. I stand here alone to say one thing. I think we need to start looking up more, folks. I think each and every one of us need to start taking a little bit more time and look up. And I ain't talking about look up your friend on Facebook. I'm talking about literally looking up. I bet you see more than you do looking down this crap. All the crap that's before me, all the crap that's on side of me, all the crap that's behind me. We move forward, minus our heart radio. Tell you one thing, we're digging for the truth. You look up, you'll see a lot more than what you think. Hey, we ain't gonna hide. We're gonna keep bringing you the information, and we're gonna lose people. We're gonna lose people on this one. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like the snap. And half of my platforms are gone. Dust it away. <laughs> Just in time for end game. Because we're in the end game. This is the point of the game where important pieces are going to be sacrificed in order for the overall greater good. Victorious Dark Skies. See you later, iHeartRadio. And we'll be back, y'all. Thanks for joining us. And peace.